day five, um, map. There we go, map. Now this this first section I'm doing here technically is not a map. It's well, it's it's a. I sort of did a symbolic message, whatever. Like, um, now I want you guys to try and guess what this is real quick, but to keep it vague, basically the movie that this is from is about self-discovery. So that's why I had that's why I had uh, the first image there. I don't know. I don't know if that's obvious of what it is. I I don't know if you guys can recognize that or not, but it still looks cool. And I did you know, cheat a little bit on this one. What I did is I got Google images of each, because this is cut into quarters this time. And what I did is I got um, four maps, four different maps from different movies, favorite movies, by the way. Um, and that's right, I looked up Google images of each map just so I can get the details right. And I put them into my um, artistic or arty art app. I don't know, it's, a, it's called Procreate. I always have to put a space in between there because it sounds wrong if you say it together. It's like, Ugh. but in my art app there, uh, and I traced over, you know, the most important details of the map because some of the maps were highly detailed, and it was it was difficult. I know it was going to be difficult, and it would take a long time to get everything done. So that's what I did, and then I printed off the picture that I traced. At least I didn't, at least, well, no, I would have to trace it anyway because I couldn't, I probably couldn't see the lines or whatever through the paper. It was, it was hard for me to see the, the black ink, quote unquote. I, yeah. Well, technically it's still ink because of the printer, you know, printer ink. But yeah. Um, so keeping to the black and white theme, I did the, the top left corner there. Uh, I did it black with a white background just because there was less details to work in it so I didn't have to you know worry too much about the negative space and then we should be getting up on the or should be approaching the third image which is the bottom right again I'm speeding up my voice so I don't know if this is in the right like area I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know I'm, I'm a little I'm a little frustrated about something right now so excuse me but ah yes and the the bottom right there third image uh, had less details as well, so I was like, okay, I'll fill in those maps black because it won't be that hard to do the negative space because I just, I still, I love doing the negative space. It's so fun, it's so challenging, and it just looks so cool when you're done. I mean, look at that first image with that cute little eye and nose. It's just so good. And then, so the other two maps had way more details than the first two or the, the first and third, whatever. They had way more details, so I was thinking, okay, I have to do the background black because there's no way I can do all of that in negative space. Maybe someday I can do it in negative space. I don't know. It would be an interesting challenge to try and do that. I think that's it on my mind right now. I don't know. I really like the uh, the second image there. The, the little lagoon, I guess it is. It's, that's water. Like, I know, okay, so you see the skull, right? You see that skull shape, and then it has a little, like, something above the our right but it's the skull's left eye that's a that's a boat that's a ship it's a, it's a pirate ship or sailing ship or whatever but so that's supposed to be water the white of the skull is supposed to be water and then the rest of it's supposed to be land and then there's water again below it you can see a little x x that marks the spot but yeah the the squigglies on the white there are are just writing that i didn't want to write out fully so, all right, I gotta check something. Be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I thought the voiceover recording stopped because I reached the end of the video. But since I sped up my voice, the voiceover is now shorter, so I can fit more uh, narrating in here. So right about here, we're on to the third image, or fourth, sorry. I just finished the third, and now I'm on to the fourth. And it's pretty obvious on what it is, especially if you're a DreamWorks fan. Um, <laughs> actually, come to think of it, two of these are DreamWorks. Um, and then one is Disney, and I don't know about the last one. But, yeah, if you are able to recognize all four of these, you are immediately my best friend. Or my dad, who is awesome. I love you. But anyway, <laughs> and I have little quotes. Um, 
That's right. I squiggled out because I couldn't read what was on the one map. So I was like, okay, we'll just put some squiggles as some writing. But then I added some text, like a quote from a movie or, or a quote from the movie. And so it's more recognizable. And straight up on one of the, the one, one of the maps, it straight up said the title of the film. And I was like, okay, no, we should make that more vague. So I just did the squiggles. <laughs> so that's it for that. And I don't think I have anything else to add. Just if you can guess those movies, awesome on ya. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and you'll hear from me in the next video. Bye bye